c'est son amour. Cool. 
latest fashions in women's and girls' dress and casual shoes. Our new fall line features many of the most sought out styles of boots, beauty, and street items.
told you we were gonna miss him. Well, it's okay, Pee Wee. Take it easy. We'll get him next time. Yeah, but Miss Walker, a real woman, and I miss her. You're about to get laid by an exotic dancer in a few hours. That's a real woman. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I gotta go home and warm up. Warm up.
celebrating the new colors of Camp.
This seminar is about a very sticky problem, the problem to which the Buddha primarily addressed himself, which is that of agony, suffering. But before we get into that, we have to be clear about certain basics. And these basics have to do not so much with 
concepts and ideas as they deal with a state of mind. You could call it also a state of feeling, a state of sensation, a state of consciousness. And we need to understand that, even be in that, before we can really go very far. And this is an extraordinarily difficult state of mind to talk about, even though in its nature it's extremely simple. Because it is in a way like we were when we were babies. When we hadn't been told anything and didn't know anything other than what we felt and we had no names for it. Now of course as we grow older we learn to differentiate one thing from another, one event from another and above all ourselves from everything else. Well and good, provided you don't lose the foundations. Just as mountains are differentiated, but they're all based on the earth, so the multiple things of this world are differentiated. But they have, as it were, a basis. There is no word for that basis, not really because words are only for distinction. And so there can't really be a word, not even an idea, of the non-distinction. We can feel it, but we can't think it. But we don't feel it like an object. You feel you're alive. You feel you're conscious, but you don't know what consciousness is because consciousness is present in every conceivable kind of experience. It's like the space in which we live, which is everywhere. It's like a fish being in water, and presumably a fish doesn't know it's in the water, because it never goes out. A bird presumably knows nothing of the air, and we really know nothing of consciousness.